As you may know, worker and supply chain shortages have been a major theme throughout the year. Bola Badabo is here with a recap of some Central Oregon businesses and services that have been affected. Bola? Many businesses have had to change their hours or shut down, Carly. This past year painted a clear picture of how much shortages affect the Central Oregon community. The effects from the pandemic created a problem that many of you may have run into, a shortage of workers. Businesses are seeing challenges as the nation faces a flower shortage after the pandemic put some growers out of business and others struggle to find workers. Tell me when you're coming ready to start working as a cook for me. As COVID cases rose, St. Charles Medical Center was no exception. Nurses and doctors were overwhelmed with the number of patients coming in as more workers left the industry. From the entire health system, our turnover is definitely up. House cleaning services also suffered. Difficult um, getting people to come in, good reliable people to come in. A lack of bus drivers pushed Ben Lapine schools to compress driving routes and stressed the drivers with longer hours as well. And then we have zero subs for backup. And FedEx was one of many businesses that held hiring fairs and raised their pay to attract workers. FedEx offices say they've been bogged down by the impact of COVID-19 on their workflow and workforce. Even Santa was hard to find this year. If you guys know anybody that looks like Santa, you have a friend that has a white beard. In addition to the spread of COVID-19, child care struggles and early retirement also played a role in the absence of workers. And with the staggering spread of Omicron, the rate of recovery for businesses and the workforce is still in question. The lack of workers also made it hard for manufacturers to keep up with providing many things people wanted to buy. Computer chips used to manufacture vehicles are not being produced fast enough to keep up with demand. If you come to get a vehicle, you may not get it today. You may have to wait weeks or months to get it. Backlog for furniture and appliance stores. They were sold, uh, you know, a month before we even got the shipment. A lot of problems. It's not just the foam, it's a lot of things. The pressures from little staffing to supply chain issues have frustrated businesses and customers alike.